Hi Christian, nice, <laughs> nice to have you here. Um, I wanted to first start by saying, since you've arrived here, and um, we've had so many Costa Rican followers on Twitter and Instagram, etc. How crazy is, is football in, uh, in Costa Rica? In Costa Rica, football is the first sport, so mm -hmm. everybody follow. Right away when you're, a, when you're a kid, the first you try is playing football in the street. So when the national team play, or even when you grow up, the first stop you do is a kick, kick a ball. Everybody is crazy in football. Everybody follow, especially the players they are abroad. Yeah. So uh, the people always now with the social media stuff, they really follow the teams they are playing mm -hmm. and uh, support. You were 15 and you had you were rejected from two Costa Rican clubs. How did that? How was that experience of uh, when you were very young of? getting rejected and then finally yeah. finding a club. Was it good for you to find, to then, for, you know, for your professional football, to that winning mentality, that, to keep working hard? It's really difficult because you are a kid, you, you want your dream come true. Mm -hmm. Just play in a big club back home, uh, in a way. But sometimes um, things happen for a reason. It's difficult when you are 15, you need to be, keep focused, you know, you yeah. are really young and you don't know all the ways the football can go. But at the end, I just, keep my mentality was um, I want to play abroad, I want to play abroad. Mm. At the end everything go well. Yeah. But of course at the moment I feel I feel depressed in a way. You see now everything's go well. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel really happy here. I'm, um, I'm in Bochum, yeah. fantastic place. I really enjoy it, me and my family. So sometimes you need to be focused on yeah. what you want and um, don't lose the faith. Yeah, you've been here for two months now. Um, mm -hmm. How have you found Germany? I mean, it's your first experience playing football in Germany. How have you found Bochum? Bochum, yeah, yeah everything is going well. Yeah. My family and I, we enjoy it. So far, I scored my first goal, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a long time I did it. So everything is going well. Yeah. We, we try to settle. We have home, we have everything. The kids mm -hmm. go to school. Everything goes so fast. and. Um, now we try to get the result we need. Mm. And how was how scoring the goal in the foot down at that end, yeah, in front of all the fans? Yeah, it was. With your left foot. <laughs> it was unbelievable, you know, because I think the last score, is, the last goal, sorry, I scored was two, three years ago. Actually, when we do the photos for the club about mm. celebration, I say, like, I just make a joke, like, I never celebrate. <laughs> I never, why did you take a photo of me celebrating? I never scored. <laughs> and then the, yeah. I scored the, um, Sunday. So I mm. feel really good because it's yeah. like um, the prize you get when you work hard and everything everybody's working hard here for so sure. the result then not getting mm -hmm. there but i think yeah. for sure they will come and i saw when you were celebrating yeah. that you were with danilo suarez yeah he, he came straight to you has it been really good to have danilo who obviously can speak spanish and, and to help you settle in and, and yeah uh, danilo right away when i came here he helped me with everything um with the language uh knowing the persons to settle, I think sometimes it's difficult for a football player mm -hmm. to come and um, just a new environment. But Danilo helped me a lot, also my family. So mm -hmm. he's really, really good guy, yeah. good player. So really happy two, to have him here. Yeah, the two South American, Central American fullbacks, two yeah. Central yeah. American Latin <laughs> yeah. players. Yeah, that's so funny. it's good. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's cool. And you went straight from Costa Rica to going back a bit now to into Norway, to and, Norway then, yeah. and then to Denmark, and then. Uh, was that, that must have been really different, a really different experience going, I mean, from Costa Rica all the way to Northern, yeah. Northern Europe, was it? Imagine I come from an area is, most of the time is, the weather is 30 degrees, mm -hmm. close to the beach, and then you go to Norway, it's minus 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You start to, to feel and realize what I'm doing here, but <laughs> everything come a reason, like yeah. I told you, everything is going, that is your path, you mm -hmm. need to follow, sometimes it's difficult places. Yeah. But about talking about weather, but they helped me to grow up like mm -hmm. a football player, like a person. Yeah. And at the end, everything go well. So at the end, everything go well, like I said. And yeah. I'm a happy experience, yeah. experience. Yeah, for Minus sure. Minus 25 degrees, <laughs> you never. Been. I can imagine. <laughs> because you went from so you went from Frederikstadt to yeah. um, Copenhagen, to Copenhagen, and then, then, then to Rosenberg. I yeah. Think, yeah. And then Scandinavian countries for five years. So yeah, it's I mean, and some experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good and weather. And I guess probably your breakout moment yeah. was the World Cup 2014. In Brazil, 2014. How was that as an experience? Is that the highlight of your career? Yeah, it was the biggest, I think, because nobody expect us to go through to the group. Mm. It was a really hard group. We had uh, Italy, Uruguay, and then England. Mm. And uh, Costa Rica, everybody just laughed when they see the group. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get no points and we're not going to go through. Mm. 
So at the end, we like a group, we decide to don't listen to the stories, mm -hmm. don't see any papers, don't see anything, just focus in the yeah. what I can do in the pitch. We beat Greece, mm -hmm. and then we play the quarterfinals against the Netherlands, yeah. and we draw 0-0 zero, zero penalties, you know. So when the Netherlands changed their goalkeeper. Yeah, changed the goalkeeper, <laughs> and then uh, Van Gaal, he killed us. So. Yeah. <laughs> but what an He's experience. Great, yeah. And you started, I think you started every game. Yeah. And, you know, for you and Keylor Navas as well. Yeah, the, yeah. It changed life. Changed, changed, changed lives. Changed lives. Which is amazing. It was, yeah. um, it was an unbelievable experience yeah. in football boys. Yeah, and then you went straight from there. I think you moved to West Brom. Yeah. I think you transferred to West Brom. Yeah. How was going to English and then you went to Celtic after English and Scottish football? Yeah, between clubs, you know, uh, West Brom, uh, of course, a Premier League club. Mm -hmm. And everything is a um, little bit different in the, in the qualities they have there. Like a club, uh, it's everything around the club. Celtic yeah. is, is like a bigger mm -hmm. in everything. And um, of course, the Scottish League is not the same level than the Premier League. So yeah. you see, I never get good weather, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially <laughs> Scottish yeah. weather. I mean, yeah, on the weekend it was just no, raining. No, but it'll be, it'll be unbelievable here. Yeah. We get a really good summer, yeah, so no, it's okay. True. That's very good. <laughs> so yeah, yeah everything is good. Well. You know, so, this is football. You know, yeah. sometimes you are here, and next day you you don't know where you are. Yeah. So you need to be prepared, also your family. Because obviously, at the moment, we find ourselves in a tough position here yeah. in the league. How, coming from Celtic, where they had the treble treble, you, had, yeah. you won nine trophies three years, um, how is that winning mentality? Do you think that will help you help the team move up the league and, and get out of the bad position that we're in? Because Yeah, sometimes in, I know it's different between clubs mm -hmm. and uh, not about football, no, just about uh, sometimes uh, the leagues. Because mm -hmm. you see here in the second Bundesliga, it's really tough. Everybody mm -hmm. have sometimes uh, really good players, working hard players, everybody on the pitch is, um, you yeah. never know what's going to go, what's mm -hmm. going to happen next game. Yeah. So it's really, really good, like a, you, like a footballer, mm -hmm. because um, it's not like in Celtic you have to win, yeah. it's nothing else. And this mentality also can help here. Yeah. Uh, but if you compare the teams in the Scottish League and the difference between Celtic, they are big yeah. gap. Mm -hmm. um, here, I think it's not that different. Everybody can be the same, yeah. you know, and it's depend the day of the game who can, uh, you know, run sure. more, have better tactics, mm -hmm. and that's it. So yeah. I think here it will come, you know. Yeah. Right now we are in the top position, but you see we are scoring goals. Sometimes yeah. we get a lot of goals also, but For sure. um, it's, it's gonna go there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to keep focus, keep working hard, uh, try to see what we what we're missing and then working on that, you yeah. know, that what, we, what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So I think at the end, sometimes we get a little bad luck in football, but I think that cannot happen every game. I think yeah. for sure we for will sure. come. So, yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kiel on the weekend uh, or yeah. on Friday, um, you confident about that, turning around the situation, position there against a team that are also struggling? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we have to. Yeah. We have to, I think we, right now the group, everybody is focusing that in, uh, in to get a positive result in, mm -hmm. in Kiel. So we hope so. We need yeah. to work hard. It's going to be a tough game. But mm -hmm. for the group, for everybody around the club, it will be perfect, uh, a good result. We get, ciao, ciao, shoes, all the fans, all is good. Dutch person, niche perfect, it's coming, it's coming, basta, basta, no, say good. Oh.